problem 8.15 on page 256. In this particular case, we're given some information about Amazon Prime shoppers. We do a sample of 100 Amazon Prime members, and we find out that the main purchase is $1,500, the standard deviation of $200. We want to construct a confidence interval for all Amazon Prime members at 95%. So you're going to use the Excel spreadsheet that I have provided that is also, by the way, if you are quite interested in this, you can actually create the spreadsheet yourself, but I thought I would do it for you. So in this case, you simply plug in the numbers, the standard deviation, the mean, the sample size, and the confidence level that you want. Now, I want to emphasize that this uses T values, so you have to be careful because we did a sample. It's not a population confidence interval or proportion. This is a sample mean. So you can see that the software calculates the answers for us. And... At 95%, we're, and I'm actually combining my answer for A and B together. So at 95% confident, means 5% of the time will be wrong, that the population mean will be between $1,460.32 and $1,539.68. And so there's 2.5% chance that the population mean will be below 1460 and 32 cents or possibly two and a half percent chance that it'll be above 1539 and 68 but you could stand in front of a board of directors or anybody and say i'm 95 percent sure that the average amazon prime user all of them would be between 1460 dollars and 32 cents and fifteen hundred and thirty nine dollars and sixty eight cents so that gives we give amazon a very good idea what their average customer spends and they will pay attention to this and again because amazon prime would be a digital type of information they could actually know what the population uh, spent is amazon knows that number the, and this just gives them a range of possible answers if they have to do a sample. But if I'm running Amazon, I know this number exactly. I know the population. And I also would want to pay attention to, is it increasing, is it decreasing? For our, but for our purposes, we are simply doing a sample of 100. And these are the results that we come up with.